Tony's Tractor Adventure. Hey, I'm here with Kelsey at Kubota, and she's going to show us around some new products. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Kelsey. All right, my name is Kelsey Cockrell. I'm the product manager for the um, smaller subcompact compact tractors for Kubota Tractor Corporation. Uh, I'm from Texas, and I'm excited to be here this week. Introduce some new products. Texas lady, I like it. Yes, sir. Well, show us what you got here. All right, so what we're looking at right here is our brand new series. It's called the LX series. It's a crossover similar to our BX series and our MX series in that it's not quite the size of our B series smaller compact tractors. Uh, and it's also not the size of our L series uh, compact tractor. So it's kind of a little bit in between. It has the maneuverability of the smaller compact applications, sure. but it has more of that power that we see in our L series where you can lift over a thousand pounds with your loader. Um, and yet you can still pull a mid mount mower for mowing or um, some of those other smaller applications. So this so, is 25 ish horsepower? Yes, sir. So this is a, a 24.8 and a 30.8 horsepower. Uh, we have two different models. Uh, both models you can get in either an open state station or a cab tractor. It's our smallest factory cab tractor that comes with standard heater and AC. Oh my goodness, you just won. Yes, sir. Uh, I just told another guy in another interview, I said, if somebody would make a tractor that was smaller this size with a cab and air conditioner, I said, you, it's a home run. So you guys have hit a home run again. I guess that's why Kubota's the uh, the, yes. The biggest here. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We're very proud. It still contains a lot of the same features that Kubota is known for. This is it. Yes, sir. Right here. This is our newest cab model in that lineup. Um, what's really great is that you still have that nice Kubota built diesel engine. The cab tractor on the 30 horsepower actually comes as a, a turbocharged common rail diesel engine. And it's okay. Kubota built followed by our Kubota built transmissions. It's Kubota built through and through loader, backhoe, mid mount mowers. Um, you can get, uh, again, mid PTO. You can do snow removal with this application for these tractors on the, as well. On these two tractors here, I'm just curious, uh, I'm sure my, I'm, cause I know a viewer is gonna ask me, what what is the width of the, the mower decks that you can get? Do you... So you can actually get a 60 and a 72 inch Ooh, so mower 72, deck. So we'll yes, sir. 72, that's nice. Yes, sir. Well, I, I guess I'm that, that guy as I'm getting older, that, you know, I'm outside. I want to go outside and play a lot, but the, I'm telling you, you have hit a home run with the AC cap in this frame. Uh, no, I don't think anybody else has that. Um, I'm not sure um, which other competitors. I think there's probably some that have something along the same lines, they, they, uh, they're but they're bigger. a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. This so is this a one perfect footprint. Right. This one a, gives that OEM. Kubota built cab. Right. That's the we're the only ones in the industry who's going to provide that with that style and that small of a tractor. Um, I also there's another my, another pet peeve that I have with tractors is seats. Uh, uh, make sure Tanya, you that I want to talk in the uh, in the interview. Make sure you get the seat inside that cab. Yes. Listen, it's, it's a as I get older, it's a very important thing for me. Uh, the seat means a lot, and uh, that thing uh, is a nice looking seat. Yes, sir. So this is actually this is actually a. Um, a one of our seats that we have in another premium compact tractor lineup, our Grand L series. So this, while it's still a smaller tractor, it is very deluxe in design. You've got the nice um, high back suspension seat with the standard armrest. You've still got an integrated joystick loader control uh, that comes standard with that machine. You've got your three range HST transmission, cruise control, tilt steering, uh, rubber floor mats. You've got standard LED front work lights, front wiper, side mirrors. Uh, so there's really a lot of nice comfort features within this tractor. And I want to point this out. So follow me down with the camera. Tell me about this. This I'm going to tell you right now, I, I know what it is. You know, it's a one lever and you pull these off and you're not here trying to fight with popping each one of the individual holes off. I think every tractor manufacturer should do this. Uh, this should be like an industry standard in my opinion. You guys are Kudos for that one yes, too. Yes, sir. Uh, and I, I really love it because not only is it that you can pull this off, but it's flat face. So there's no oil leakage. So right. that's the really nice thing. You don't have to clean it up. Now, this is one of our um, options. It comes with our Swift Tatch optional kit for this loader. So what that does is it allows the operator to remove the loader from the seat of the tractor without ever having to get off the tractor to remove the loader. So okay. it's very quick, very easy. And then we also have an industry exclusive mechanical self leveling kit. Let me, let me so, rotate around here so she can see. That's that's fine. Um, so this is a mechanical self-leveling kit. So this, what this allows is for anybody who's wanting to do pallet fork applications, sure. so like in nurseries Which and whatnot. Which is perfect for this size tractor. Absolutely. So you can um, constantly maintain that angle without having uh, issues of spilling over or losing items on pallets with this mechanical self-leveling kit. I, I, with the tractor, I do a lot of forklift 
operations, and that again is another home run is, uh, that you just don't see anywhere else. Uh, you're out there and you're trying to, first off, you're trying to shuffle a lot of things at one time where you're, you know, you're driving and you're looking at what you're trying to do out front and you're trying to keep it all level. And tractor hydraulics are, are a little bit more jumpy than, say, a professional forklift. Mm -hmm. And with this, you just raise it up and down mm -hmm. and it maintains it. I like that. That's awesome. Absolutely. Now, we also have another feature that's industry exclusive that we're coming out with this uh, tire or tractor is this R14. T. It's a Goodyear farm tire and it's a hybrid. Uh, so yeah. it takes kind of the, the best of the ag, uh, industrial and turf tires. So what it's going to do is it's going to allow for more traction than what you get on your industrial tires, but it sure. still has that same, that nice tread design that's going to um, have less impact to your grass for uh, when you're on your lawn or anything like right. that. I've heard um, a lot of good things about these already. Oh yes, and they are phenomenal. Uh, we introduced them last year on our B01 series, uh, and so now we're coming out with it on our LX series and a couple of other ones. Um, but it's 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 fantastic, especially if you're in muddy snow ice applications. It prevents it from caking on, so yeah. you keep the industrial that cars are notorious for caking on the mud. Absolutely, uh, they're great. They're better. They're kind of a like for black top going to gravel to black mm -hmm. top to your yard it's they're, they're pretty good but when you the first bit of mud you're done oh absolutely and that's where this technology came about was we when we go to shows we have customers all the time come up to us and they're like man I love my tractor but if I could just have something that's not quite an industrial tire because it always cakes on yep, and I can't get my traction but I don't want the ag tires because they leave ruts in the ground you know so sure. it's not that all-purpose tire so this is really going to hit a home run I think um, as we see in the future years to come well, you, you were saying earlier you had something else new. What, what else you got? Um, so within the, I'll start within the LX series. We also have another model, and this is going to be a huge seller for us. It is the SU model. Um, it still has the nice power of an LX series, but it's affordable. So uh, you still have the three range HST integrated joystick control lever, that same uh, design for loaders and capability. However, it's at a much more affordable price point. So for that entry level customer, that needs a 25 horsepower tractor and doesn't really need a mid-mount mower but wants something for loader and backhoe applications or rotary cutter, this is going to be the perfect tractor for them. I may be asking you a question just off the cuff, but I was looking at the one of the self-loading and it looks like this possibly could take the self-loader so that because I'm telling you there's going to be people out here in the in like the uh, uh, landscaping market, you know this already I'm sure, that uh, mm -hmm. are your, even, even your people like me that are like homeowners with mm -hmm. acreage. Uh, it, I find the pallet forks to be the most useful uh, attachment to the go in front of a oh, tractor absolutely. that there possibly can be. Uh, and the, have that option to self-level. Oh, absolutely. That, yes. That's awesome. Yes, sir. And then we also offer a, a bigger size tire, even bigger than this. So you can get even bigger with this tractor. Oh, so same, so it, same frame, but just... Yes, sir. You can have a So if you need more clearance size. for oh, yeah. maybe absolutely. a little, little more gardening slash... You know, right, more crop more, production. Exactly, something sure. that has just a little bit bigger uh, applications. You can get something bigger for that. Well, it's this it's size, a fine so. looking tractor. I'll say that. Yes, sir. Ver versatility, comfort, quality. That's what uh, the three main points are to this series. Well, I've, I've never met a tractor that I didn't like, <laughs> and uh, I will have to say I'm really impressed. So I really appreciate your time, and thank you so All much. All right, thank you.